Hello there, and welcome to Wildfire, a rogue-ish, <laughs> rogue in the sneaky sense, platformer with some elemental stealth gameplay. We are in the second area, and this is going to be part two of the second area. We unlocked a new elemental power after kind of learning how to use water in the last round, and so it looks like we could finally unlock Smoke Bomb, which I'm going to try that. Yes, unlock this ability. Smoke Bomb. Very cool. So turn our fireball into a smoke bomb, which temporarily blinds and spins, stuns enemies when thrown. Which should be interesting, because I think we need something that's a little offensive to get us out of some sticky situations. Last round, we... Okay, so here's the smoke bomb tutorial. So I was thinking that maybe these tutorials um, were planned. Like, you had to unlock certain sections to be able to get to the next, you know, to advance the story. But it's looking like these are maybe less planned and it's just as soon as you unlock it it pops up as a as like a precursor to the next level so i'm gonna try to turn your fire into a smoke bomb i don't know how to do it if i press b oh okay okay so i still i still get to toss it that's good so we're gonna stun you with a smoke bomb very cool and then we're just gonna run right past you wow that's awesome Remember the mischief that lasted all night of hiding and seeking until dawning light. They found their last hider constricted in blue. What happened to you, silly? Nobody knew. The older kids found him again and again, despite his good sneaking and counting to ten. I'll smother a fireball to nothing but smoke. His clever plan veiled him, but caused him to choke. And when he passed out from the lack of fresh air, well, none of the kids knew to look for him there. If hiding in smoke give your seekers a clue, or you'll be mislaid until morning comes too. Th these soldiers are clearly searching for something and have brought more explosives to help clear their path. Whatever their plans are, you must get their fellow villagers away from these deadly devices. We did not have a good track record with explosives in the last one. <laughs> not at all. Okay, what can I do with these explosives? Is there... Wait, we gotta get the Kickstarter. Oh, there was no Kickstarter. Can I do anything with this? I can pick it up. What about optional objectives? Only embrace water. Um, no kills. Undetected. No save reloads. And rescue at least one villager. So, how can I only release water if there's a man down there that needs my help and I have to burn this to make it work? Is that... Is it possible to free him? Yeah, it says free without, without, uh, by burning his restraints. How can I do that without grabbing fire? Is there something I've missed? That's fine. We're gonna do it, but we're gonna wait until she goes away. Okay. And then now we have you. And you're gonna come with me. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we actually don't have a, now that I look at it, we actually don't have a, Camera. There we go. Bring to checkpoint. Okay, so we have to find out a way to get you up there. If I toss you, do you grab on? You do not. Um, so how can I possibly get you up there? We need to get back under so this, this guard doesn't find us. I don't know how I'm supposed to throw- Oh, I can bubble you. I can bubble you. I can bubble you. That makes way more sense anyway. Okay, so let's just um, right trigger to drop you bubble. I don't really know how to do this, I'm going to be honest. Jump. Oh, okay, okay. So we've got her in the bubble. But the downside is I think we just got found. Yep, we did. We just got found. Okay. So not the best, but that's fine. We are going to do one of these. One of these. Alright, you should be pretty easy to free. It doesn't look like there's really anything going on here. I don't know how you could possibly free these guys without fire, though. Is there a mechanic that I missed somewhere where you could free them with, uh, where you could free them with, like, some other thing? Oh, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna... You didn't see anything. Nope, nothing there. Do, 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 do. We're gonna grab some water. Can I toss this there? No, let's, let's get over here. I don't really know what happens when I smack people with water, but I would be interested. All right, so we're gonna go back. We'll drop. All right. How can I best free you? It looks like I should probably be going the other way to free her. Oh no, there we go. We can we can do this. We can totally drop in. Okay, so let's just toss our water bag. And then we don't have any fire, but ooh, there is a meteor shard up there as well. See it right in the middle of the pond. So we're gonna make sure we grab that. 
We don't have any fire to break her restraints. So we need to go find some fire. I guess I could get some from the checkpoint. I could also get some from... Maybe there's a... There's a um, campfire somewhere. There's a campfire up there. So we probably need some from the checkpoint, to be honest. Let's go grab that before we worry about anything close by. Do, but a burp. Okay. Uh, you are, I definitely want to use the TNT, by the way. Like that, that will be used before we escape this level. Okay, so let's grab some fire. And then we will jump into the water. Oh no, I, elemental water fire doesn't work. Okay. I'm just gonna take the elevator up. Boop. <laughs> this is so much easier. And the sound effect is great too. Okay, so easy enough to do this. Oh, I don't have a... Okay, so this has got to happen very quickly, all of this. Nope, didn't happen quickly enough. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I think since they don't have bows, we should be fine. Like, we should be able to just do this for a little bit. But we also could just throw some water. So let's put you down. We will throw a bubble, grab you, jump into the bubble. You? Oh, nope, 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 nope. nope. This isn't gonna work. Okay. Uh... It's okay, just don't catch my prisoner. Don't catch my prisoner. You got this. Good job. Sometimes they're smart. Sometimes they know what's going on. Okay, so if we put you down, we grab some water. Nope, I want my friend. Didn't get my friend with me. Jump. <laughs> Sneaky. All right, then we could just do this. There you go, dude. And then this person, this guard off to the right thinks they just saw a ghost, which is probably about as accurate as you could explain it to someone who has no idea what these mystical statues do. Alright, so we are going to drop. Just go get us one of these real fast. What goodies you got? Hints of smoke. When you're, while your body is smoking after touching fire, enemy bobcats will be unable to smell you. So I'm assuming bobcats are going to get real spooky at some point in the game. Because we're going to do... We're gonna turn this to smoke. Or how you like them apples? Okay, it didn't work. Oh, I didn't use it. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, we will free you. No, I don't have the ability to free you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Okay. Well, that's fine. I got a steam achievement for it. Whack. Um. I guess we're just gonna kind of do one of these. And. There's not much we can do, I don't, I don't think. So if we go, there is a lot of fire there. I think I want to get a water point over here. That was close, I'm not gonna lie. All right, there we go. Oh, he, he hit the TNT barrel. Wait, 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 this is our moment, this is our moment. Oh, there's no TT. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, nope, missed, missed, all right, yeet. Yeet. Oh! <laughs> Shoot yourself. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna grab this, we're gonna turn it into smoke, and we're gonna whack you in the face with it. Can I kill you with this? Sounds like I can make you choke. Uh, not choke, but I can definitely make you sleep. Alright, what, what do you got? Kickstarter stuff. Very cool. We'll throw that at you. Um, we'll get you there in spirit, buddy. You didn't see anything. And apparently if I'm laying down in the weeds, his arrows will go over my head, which was a nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little touch. Alright, so we have rescued at least one guy. Um, we did not embrace water, we did not own no kills, we did not undetect it, but uh, we're going to be fine. So, you. And I think we got probably all the Easter eggs that are in this level with that one meteorite shard. So, not, not completely undetected, but, you know, it, it was okay. <laughs> I give that a, a D plus. Three spear points though, that's nothing to that's nothing to laugh at. Alright, so 30 seconds? Is that 30 seconds? Speedrun target 30 seconds. Are you kidding me? 
Oh man, I'd love to watch this. I would love to watch one of these speedruns. Game saved. And we got another elemental power, so that's cool. We did upgrade water, which I think makes it, looks like it makes it last a little bit longer. So until we get uh, splash size up, throw distance. Uh, I think I would like to throw further. I think that's going to be our limiting factor a few times. Throw prediction, what does that mean? Oh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. So if we go to, nope, go back. The forces of the Archduchess have excavated a vast network of underground waterfalls and abandoned it when they didn't find what they were looking for. Find a way to bring some fire to the top and continue forth. Okay, so I need to bring some fire to the top reach the exit. I would like to toss one of these barrels just to see what happens. Don't get burnt. If I grab you, that does nothing. Okay. So I probably need to light it on fire first, I'm assuming. I don't know what the waterfall is going to do. Oh, I can't actually interact with the waterfall, which is unfortunate. Can I climb the waterfall? No. I was thinking Zelda style. So, so far, there's nothing going on. What what have I missed? Oh, so I have to find a way to burn those barrels uh, without getting burnt. So I need to go find a source of water, or fire, rather, and then bring it all the way up. So it looks like here's a spot where I could get a point. We got to remember that. That looks like an effigy of some sorts, or like a maybe like a checkpoint where I can put the fire, and then that way it won't... Um, it won't burn out. We are going to crawl down this vine. Can I crawl down a vine in the middle? I can't. It looks like I can't crawl down it, but I probably can crawl up it if I had to guess. No. No, it's just for hanging. It's just for hanging out. Okay, so let's do one of these. Please don't break on me. Nope. Okay. How can I get across? Um, can I break that with water? I cannot break that with water. Hmm. Can I break you with a barrel? What do I need to do? What's the guy gotta do to break some barrels around here? Okay, so nothing I can do there. I don't really know what my breaking ability is. Do I need something that I don't have? I can't actually pick that one up. Do I need to like explode a barrel somehow? Let's let's look at the pan camera. Is there anything that I haven't done? Okay, so there's a meteorite shard, so we know we gotta get down there. There's where I can grab the fire. So we gotta go through here, up here. Oh, oh, duh. We don't actually need to get across that wall. We could just we could just drop down and take a little bit of damage, I think. We did not take damage, so that worked out. That was easier than we thought it was. I'm gonna go for that meteorite shard. I got my eye on it. So there are no enemies. This is a completely, completely self, self-driven. Heretic's demise, when losing your last hit point, you burst into flames instead of dying. That's interesting. So it gives you a few seconds to, to put yourself out, I guess, instead of just insta-dying. What if you die while you're on fire? Oh, all right, so when you go up and around. Doo -doo -doo. Looks like that was a campfire. And bingo. All right, so now I think the hard part starts. Okay, so if we do this, how do we, how do we get to this? Uh, this is going to be very interesting because I don't know how we even get up there. Like, how do I even grab the fire? We're just gonna try this because I think this is what it obviously wants me to do. I'm gonna grab some more fire and then just toss it. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay, so I'm gonna burn that and I think what I should be able to do is catch it over here. Yeah, 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 so fire, the fire lights like a, uh, like a fuse. Okay, so we're gonna burn right here and then jump that was almost spikes oh no i didn't burn both of them i didn't burn both sides okay so we gotta do one of these and if we light up here 
we should be able to go catch it. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, nope. Not water. Uh, fire. <laughs> and... We can either let this burn, or I think we just run up and around it. Yep. Do one of those. We're still holding on to the fire, thankfully, so we should be fine. I think let's burn this, and then let's gain some fire from it. Let's burn that. Oh, what do you do? Okay, I was a little spooked out by that. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. That got a little spooky. Those are going to explode up there. Booyah. All right, jump. So, I think... I'm not really certain how I'm supposed to bring this fire with me. Like, what? what is... How do I... I guess I probably should have been going. I probably should have been going. Okay, so we need to we need to move. We need to move so that we can get some of this fire. If we can... Oh, come on. No, no, no. Down. Down. Give me that fire. Give me that fire. No, no, no. All right, I need to go get the fire. All right, so I have a piece of fire, which is nice, because that's, that's all I really wanted. All right, we're going to toss that. This should go boom. Please, please tell me I'm far enough away. I am far enough away. And then once this all burns, we will go... Actually, we should probably go light the effigy, like, right now. Yeah, let's light the effigy, just in case. We'll just... That'll, that'll get it, yeah. Nailed it, okay. So, how do I ensure that fire gets up there? I think I might have messed up. Because I don't think that I have a way of carrying fire up here anymore. I do. I do have a way of carrying fire. Okay. So we're going to have to go the long way. That's fine. Cool. So now we got another checkpoint. Awesome. This is, this is wild. This is wild. Okay. So if we jump over this, we jump over this, over this, and tell you what, tell you what, jump. All right, are we going to make it? I don't think we're going to make it. I'm going to be honest with you. No, I think we've, I think we messed up. I think we're not going to be able to get that fire point because we didn't get it in time. So it might just have to be a water point. Oh, we made it. We made it. The My boy has the world record long jump. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. And so is there any fire left? I don't know. I don't know how everything has burned. How did we do this? Oh, we opened the door. Okay, uh, we did it. Yay. <laughs> we did it. Um, I, I don't know how that happened. I guess it just it just kept going up the fuse all the way through. So, very cool. Well, we didn't get burned. So, we actually... This might be the most clinical, um, clinical one of these we've actually done. Very cool. The fast... The fast firewalker. Oh, the first firewalker, rather. We got an achievement for that. And we nailed that mission. That was... That was fantastic. Good job. Good job all around. New elemental power available? No, let's let's do that first. Let's get slightly further I'll embrace range. And do we do one more bounce or do we do maybe like a little bit nicer of a smoke bomb? I don't really use this that often. I don't fire's too precious to use on jumps, I think. I think we go with another smoke bomb upgrade. Or bounce let's see smoke bomb let's see smoke bomb we used that a few times in the last run or the last uh mission mostly to get us out of trouble the soldiers may have found what they're after a vast tomb filled with what appears to be the remains of your ancestors stop these trespassers from desecrating the remains and use them for their own nefarious ends spooky oh now we're really in the dark so i'm assuming that fire is going to play an interesting role in this one because it's going to provide light yes so i would like to check out the map first before i start getting all spooky oh no oh no because i'm in the light he saw me that's fine we can do one of these how do you like them all right so you i could smoke or we could just wait what are our optional objectives place three <laughs> enemies in coffins uh, or, and return your elders' remains to their coffins. Okay, so that's an interesting side mission. I am curious to see how this is going to play out. We're going to try to do it. 
I probably shouldn't have jumped there, but that's fine. We nailed it. Nailed it. Is that all water? It is all water. I think we could use another water point. Let's just go grab another water point. Just eat that on. And we'll just we'll just take the water point. It's a free water point, why not? Although the downside is we just created a lot more vision. So that's going to probably come in. Oh, you didn't think I'd do it, did you? Here's some Kickstarter for you. Let's, let's extinguish this. And then if we turn it into smoke, it actually still makes light, which is not what I expected, but that's fine. I don't really need to worry about her, to be honest. Remains discovered, one of three. Okay, so we need to find a coffin to put you in. Are there any coffins over here? Oh, he sees me. There are no coffins to put you in over here. Let's just toss that up. Oh, nope, turn back into fire. Okay, throw you over there. Give me the remains. Let's see what we got. What is this? This looks spooky. It's just a rock. It's just a rock. Okay, so let's toss you there. We'll just extinguish this real fast. Yeah. I, I kind of want there to be more dark. Okay. And then we will put you back. No. You need to be in a special coffin? Apparently. You need to be in a different coffin. So that's not the coffin they had in mind, I think, for some reason. I don't know. We should be able to get away with all this. What about you? Nope. Can I... Coffin? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to throw this guy. He's, uh, he's being uncooperative. Alright, so now we got you. Does anyone see any coffins? Does anyone see any coffins? What if I just lob these remains down in there? Oop. Oh, so good. So good. Although I think the guy up top there saw me. Okay, so there are three coffins. Four coffins. There are one, two, three, four, five coffins. Oh. <laughs> uh, not ideal. That wasn't what I was trying to do, going to be completely honest. But that worked out so well that, like, I'm absolutely amazed. Okay, so now I need to figure out how to... There we go. I will football toss this guy over there, and then let's see what's going on in this direction. Okay. So let's pick these up, and then carry my boy here. It's like Weekend at Bernie's over here. We got, got this guy we gotta take care of. Where can we go with you? There is a meteorite shard in there, which is very nice. There are a lot of coffins. Okay, there's more than one set of coffins. I think now we're back where we started. So I, I probably have done way more work than I needed to by carrying this by carrying this skeleton all the way across. If I fall on you? <laughs> That's so good. I love that so much. Um, okay, so let's just toss all of the remains down here so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Nope. Nailed it. Um, let's ship them out. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, I hear you. I hear you. But let's consider that we don't shoot me. And nailed it. My my, my ancestors are dense. <laughs> my ancestors are so dense. Oh, I got her instead. Okay, well, she's taking a snooze. We're just gonna, gonna bring her with us. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, I, I'm all about this optional objective. I think we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's go up here. It'd be nice if she didn't have a torch still on her, but you can't control mo you can't control everything about this game. So, all right, let's go one of these. Oh, I about slid in. Okay, tap to drop. Tap to drop. How do I throw you? How do I like make sure you go in the coffin? Nailed it. Okay. So place three enemies in coffins that's so hard you know how hard that is okay so what we need to do is we need to use our battering rams and by battering rams I mean the bones of my ancestors to shot put 
these skeletons onto our enemies. And then with that, we should, are there two people over there? Are there two people? I think there's two people over there. Okay. Maybe it's still in their bones. Ew. Okay. So I think we find a way to... I'm glad no one can see me. Because y'all gonna get a surprise. Uh, and another one. And another one. And... Oh, nope. Okay. Maybe not another one. Do, 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 do. Okay, the good news about the darkness is that we could just kind of slip away like this. This is awesome, by the way. This game is wonderful. Maybe this would have been more effective with smoke bombs, but I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to spook them. Oh, that was fire. That was fire. That was fire. That's not what I meant to do at all. I'm dead. We embrace death. <laughs> let's 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 pull back this check save I think if we well now we have to grab our friends so we kind of messed up let's grab you and then shoot at me your, your friends in front of you you're not gonna shoot I know you're not gonna shoot yeah that's what I thought oh no you think she's ever going to notice that there's fire in the we could put this enemy in by the way, let's just do that. Let's just put you huh? in the. Whoa, what? Okay. That went dramatically wrong. Let's throw that at you. Let's huh? throw this at you. No, how did you how did you become alive? What happened here? What is happening here? What is the order of operations here? Huh? Alright, so hit hit you with your friend. Nope. Okay. <laughs> this is chaos. I keep accidentally pickpocketing her instead of hitting her with the skeleton. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until she's past her friend. I think we have to not wake her friend because her friend is sleeping. And so if we, by throwing this and doing all this chaos, I think we keep waking her. All right, so let's, let's put you in the back coffin. Let's get you as close to the back as possible. And keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. You're doing great, sweetheart, keep it up. All right, and yoink. All right, so now we grab the this again. Just hold, bear with me here. Just bear, bear with me here. Okay. And now you go in the coffin. Nope. Okay. Now you go in the coffin. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. And let's put. Let's go ahead and put Grandpa's bones in there as while we're at it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And I'm going to open you. Don't wake up our sleeping friend. And we shall go get some more bones. Oh, that was spooky. That was spooky, not gonna lie. Alright, this is awesome, by the way. Like, this is probably the most fun I've had doing a, like, a stealthy kind of mission in a long time. We're gonna use the bones of our ant this time to take out this guard. And then we're just going to get, go grab that meteorite shard while we're at it. So, one, two, three, <laughs> four. All right, thank you. And so now we can, we can take a little nap. <laughs> we got an achievement for that one as well. And you can go in there. And there we go. Don't say I never did nothing for you, Grandma. You can embrace water from yourself or enemies if dripping wet. That's actually really nice because I think there's probably a lot of different uh, methods in which that'd be useful. So she caught her breath. And now we just need to put one more set of our ancestors' bones in the coffins. And I think the last set is down here. It is, okay. So we are gonna have to do a little bit of sneaking, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Because what we should be able to do is just wait until they're on the right hand side, throw the bones down low, and then just uh, sneak out like no one ever saw anything. So this ought to work fine. This is all going according to plan, except for the times when it didn't. <laughs> as, as one of my favorite YouTubers says, what could possibly go wrong? And whoop, 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 whoop. grab grandpa, 
Have we already have we already taken care of Grandpa? I can't remember which family members. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, I deserve that. My hubris. I deserve that. We will sneak past you again. And all right. Well, he can take fall damage because you know he's dead. So I'm not worried about that guy. I wish there was a way I could maybe not take fall damage. I guess if I had had the flame, I could have like done a little fire jet down there, but. As of right now, we're gonna have to be, we're gonna have to be pretty weak and just sneak around. Might be a little, might be a little long, but just, just enjoy the soothing sounds of footsteps and rustling of leaves in the meantime and ankles breaking. Ten out of ten dive. All right, so we will throw you because it's a little bit faster. It is not faster because you sink to the ground. What are you, are you telling me he can't swim? Just because his lifeless dead body is is a uh, is fragile. That's the most unbelievable part of this whole thing that I haven't just absolutely shattered every single one of my relatives into pieces by now. Which where do I have an open ca casket? I have one up here. Do and just like that, we are an official street mortician. We're gonna go up here and do one of these and do one of these and do one of these. <laughs> oh, that's all we needed. Aww. We didn't need a. <laughs> we didn't need fire. We just hit him with a blunt force. All right, very good, very good. So uh, it's looking like this is gonna be the end of the episode. But thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, we're gonna be back with part three of the caves in the next one.